10 years, uh, they were huge client base, and uh, they were one of the leading uh, ICT solution providers in Pakistan. Um, they do have uh, ISO 27,000, uh, sorry, non-governance uh, certification, but they don't really have uh, ISO 27,001 certification as yet, but they are in, uh, in the process. So it was quite interesting uh, to find out how they are finding the whole process. Um, and the main core of their business is provide uh, networking solutions, uh, IT networking solutions, and support for the uh, for these services. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Well, here's a bit of uh, our monthly structure. Uh, yeah, this is uh, our mayor uh, and is the chairman and the chief operations officer and sorry, uh, chief executive officer. And uh, Chief Operating Officer and GM, and then they have all the other kind of heads. This is how exactly it is. Uh, can you go to the next slide, please? We offer, for example, security policy that is no. The organization of major security that shows it means that there is some improvement requirement that is required, and the rest of the areas are also. Final recommendation, but I recommended them. I uh, would uh, like to share the uh, piece to go to the next slide. To the organization. Okay. Uh, just whether you have any idea on that. Thank you. Uh, you are asking about the screening criteria. Basically, uh, as per the uh, organization, which are policy and the procedures, they mentioned that uh, we are not to uh, check by the background verification, we could not go for the screening for every employee. We do only for a very little bit and just for a single thing. How was his conduct in his last organization? organization. Uh, from the ISMS perspective, I would like to very much the uh, ISMS is not mandating that you need to do this. Uh, you need to adopt this methodology of background verification. It depends for all the employees. It depends on the criticality, on the risk assessment done by the organization. And uh, this is to this is also answer the Indian question, uh, the question of Indian uh, participants which asked what is CRI It is a proprietary tool of uh, Siemens, which Siemens has given to Magma to law for doing the risk assessment. And this tool is uh, uh, of uh, and uh, that is what is a bit different, not the only available in the market. Uh, this is to like pilot, and uh, uh, the, the comment of uh, CIA was right on the Iranian file. Uh, this is only my name. Thank you. Uh, Rahman, okay. Please, uh, please, uh, a little round to the microphone. Okay, uh, thank you, officer. So we have visited all these work archives from the six. Uh, we have visited many two of them. Another son, Nithya Sabha, simply has been accepted to be a part of attending the uh, Iranian course on ISO 27000. We would like to thank the organization for having the vision and taking the initiative to organize uh, such a productive event like this for the benefit of your neighbors in the region. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Mr. Zaidi and Mr. Uh, Prakash for the accommodating and honest manner in which they conducted the lectures in the first two days. Participants, then we can get opportunity 
to have uh, local gas uh, in between uh, breaks. Uh, uh, this is my first time to work with the resource speakers in India, and I, I think we have become a good team, and I really appreciate Mr. Prakash and Mr. Zaidi for your uh, tireless uh, efforts and uh, uh, openly sharing your knowledge with us. Uh, Mr. Prakash, Mr. Zaidi, I pass the microphone to you. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Kosaka. It was indeed a pleasure for us to be back again here as a part of the resource person for this third consecutive program on e-learning on information security management system. I would like to thank you for giving us this opportunity for conducting this e-learning course and spreading across and promoting this information security management system across the globe. So thanks very much for the first uh, initiation in Colombo and then I think yeah, now we are knowing more people, Ms. Kosaka and Ms. Patambuya and she now added up the uh, field of the relationship. I think we, we should take it forward and wherever there is, uh, a, a, you, you are functioning with a very um, noble cause of uh, seeing that the education and the information is passed on to various countries uh, which could or which could not afford the kind of information flow in the Asian uh, and other markets of the Asia. And uh, as a resource person or, and as a uh, organization having uh, technical knowledge and know-how, uh, we would always be supported to make those initiatives and with this assurance uh, and uh, thanking all the participants through the very nice interaction, not only these six countries, uh, we have the law of of Vietnam, Thailand and other countries in the previous phase and then the previous phase, the launch of the previous phase. Uh, if you have a network of uh, human chain and the knowledge chain, I would like to compliment it too. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh.